Hi there, Michael Burnett, AF7KB, that fast track ham license guy here, with how to search for your license on the FCC database. There are a few reasons you might want to search the FCC database for a ham license. If you've recently passed your technician exam, and congratulations, by the way, you're wondering if your license has been issued, and the database is how you find out. Once your license is posted on that database, called the FCC ULS, for Universal Licensing System, you're official and you can start transmitting. If you've recently upgraded to general or extra class, you're wondering if you can stop adding that slash AG or slash AE special identifier to your call sign when you're on the general or extra bands. Or maybe you want to look up some contact you've made recently, or some ham you, I don't know, met at your ham club meeting last month. You can use the FCC database for that too, although you might find that qrz.com is a bit more satisfying experience, since you might see their personal profile information. To get to the FCC ULS, I just start with Google, and I type in FCC ULS. And you can see it pops right up at the top. We click on that, and here it comes. Now, we've got a wide array of options here, and this is where people sometimes get a little confused on this thing their first time through. You don't have to register. You don't have to log in. None of that. Just go to search and licenses, and it will pop up and give you this choice of call sign FRN or search by name. Now, if you have call sign already, you just type in your call sign and your data will pop up. But if you're a new technician, you don't know your call sign yet, so you're going to go to by name. Now, here's a little trick that it doesn't tell you. If I type in Michael Burnett and I click search, uh, nope, no matches found. Son of a gun, I thought I had a ham license. Well, wait a minute. Here we go. You have to type it in like this. Burnett, comma, Michael. And then we click search. And ta-da! Here come all the Michael Burnett's that have licenses. Now, let's see. Which one could it be? Well, my license isn't canceled. It's active. But I'm not Michael D. I'm Michael J. So, oh. There's my call sign, AF7KB. Now, when you see that, you're in good shape. But do click on that thing. Make sure that this is your address, that they, you know, you're looking at the right name with the right license, just to be sure that you have that license and it is valid. And you can see all your stuff comes up here. And uh, then if you click on this tab called Admin, then You'll get more stuff, and it'll tell you your file number and type. It'll tell you what uh, authorization letters they have sent you, and you can see a copy of that. Now, if I click on Authorization Licensee, I can download a PDF of my license. Here we go. We'll download that, click on it, and ta da comes up with a reference copy of my license. Now, you can also get a real copy, the closest you're going to get to a paper license. You're going to have to print it out yourself, but you can get that on this site as well. Just click around. You'll figure out how to do it. But this reference copy is good for any conceivable purpose that you would uh, probably need it for. Okay, that's it. That's how to look yourself up on the FCC ULS database. 7-3 and AF7KB clear.